No, no, no. Regardless, if, if that person, according to our laws, even at the age of, according to this Canadian law, if someone sees... Who cares about the Canadian law? Okay. Who cares about the Canadian law? Listen, listen to me, Hashim. He claimed to follow the Look, if you sleep around with a nine-year-old, you're called a pedophile, according to our law. Listen, Hashim, if you sleep with a nine-year-old in this country, you're called a pedophile. Okay, but you know what? A nine-year-old is considered an adult. He should be puberty. Yes. Okay. Yes. Look. Because a woman becomes an adult when she attains puberty. Whether she's nine years old or ten years old, automatically when she attains puberty, right, she is now an adult. Now, you think it back to the example of our beloved Prophet Muhammad, right? What happened was, was um, she, uh, the Prophet Muhammad, to be upon him, was married Aisha when she was like, I believe, like seven, six or seven, right? But he consumed the marriage when she attained puberty. So when he married, when the Prophet Muhammad married Aisha, that marriage was more of a promise, right? So, but that when started she at six came, years old. Yeah, that's, 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 that's it was a promise. That marriage was, it was consummated. A it was consummated at nine uh, years old. When she was, I believe, uh, I'm not sure. This of I know, it's nine years old. This of opinion. Some people say 11, some people say nine. But whatever the age is, whatever, both children, whether, whether, nine or 11, is whether, whether it's 11 or nine years old, right? At that time, uh, she became an idol. She was an idol. I like it because she did puberty. When she did puberty, whether it was at 9 or 11, that's when the Prophet Muhammad so, okay, him. So, 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 right? you're going to slap someone because they differ from you. They they think that's pedophilia. You don't think it's pedophilia. And you somehow thought it was right to slap a man yes. in his face. Yes. yes. Because he did. Yes. Yes. Someone else because, so, okay, let me, because, okay because, let me ask you something. Why? Because you know why it's slapping in his face now? He's not going to walk around and say, make that statement again. He'll never make that statement again. No, no, he knows but, that but he listen, Hashim. Hashim, you don't go around slapping people. Oh, I'll do it again. If somebody's going to insult our prophet, in the name, in, in the name right, of who? Right, we'll slap. Is this, is this you doing it or is this Islam? No, it's Islam. To, if, to go around and slap people when they disagree with you? What, slapping, That's Islam? Slapping is nothing. Brother, brother. That's so nothing? Get killed. When he I made her, I know you oh, no, wait a second. So you're telling me Islam gives you the license to go slap people because they disagree with you? No, no, no. no. Slapping is nothing. That's nothing. No. In other countries... So it's okay to slap right? people. In other countries... So you're telling me Islam says say, it's okay to slap people? In other, in other countries, anybody who insults the Prophet Muhammad is your opponent gets killed. Okay, so, so it's... So slapping is nothing. Okay. So, so if I go around and want to preach my religion, I say that Muhammad is a false prophet according to my faith. I deserve death? Yes. My brother, look yes. So obviously it's a big, big difference between Canada and that other country. In the Bible. So, so you too. So, be, so, so basically, you are so the Bible. basically, when you come, when right? you come along, okay, so, Islam is the Bible. so you're basically telling me that Islamic law tells me that if I preach something different from Islam, if I say that I don't believe in Muhammad as, as a, a no, true no, prophet, no, no, no. I believe he's a false prophet. Yeah, you you're telling me Islam you, says you go it's okay preach to kill that, that person. Oh yeah. If you go to a Muslim country, there we go. So, okay, let me, let me tell you something. The difference, uh, uh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. The difference with your version of Islam, hold on, hold on. The, ver the difference with your version of Islam and it's not my version of Islam. What version? Right? Is it the Islam? It's the Islamic law. If you go around preaching that Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is a prophet in the Muslim country, you get killed. Okay, so that, that's right? Islamic that's law. right? That's Islamic that's law. Right? That's right? You can't practice Islam. Islam. Against who? In our own country. Belief, no, or you as a person? In our own country, you can't talk. So you can't disagree with my belief. No, you can't talk against it in our own country. Against you yeah. or against your belief? It's like it's like coming to your own house and telling us to go out. So it's okay for you to come to a parent Christian country and preach your religion? No, this is not a Christian country. It's, it's not. It's so why not. Do, then why do you make you a have distinction? The right to practice your own religion. Good, good. Yeah. So, so let me tell you something. That's what he's talking. So let me tell you something. First of all.